at Kenma 2018 General Tire Duel on the Delta. He doesn't need an introduction. Bobby Barrick, he was our last year's champion. You know, Bobby, last year we were here in June. This year we're here at the end of April. You know, uh, how are things shaping up? I mean, what, what do you think? Well, it, it, the calendar says we're here at the end of April. Okay. But it, I think as far as the fish are concerned, you know, maybe it's the end of March. Okay. Um, we had a long, prolonged winter. Right. And the, I, I got here February 20th. And everybody was telling me that it was great and flip-flops and hot and December and, and January. It, it was wonderful. I step off the plane and it's like Arctic Circle for like nine days. I got frost on my boat, my carpet. I'm taking pictures. This is a joke, I right? This is crazy. Water temperature was supposed to be in the 60s. Uh oh. Right. Water temperature was supposed to be in the 60s and all that stuff. I get here, it turns 44, 45, 46. So you brought that from Texas? Yeah, I did. I did. So everything went backwards. Everything was moving forward, and then everything kind of took a couple of steps back. Okay. So, but, you know, I, this year, I can't complain. I've got six over 10. Um, I've got six more between nine and a quarter and 993, 997. This one won't go 10. Right. So big fish, yes. Lots of fish, no. Okay. I, I haven't caught a lot of fish. But I've caught some really awesome fish. But in the Delta is fishing, you'll go out today, catch a nine pound limit. You'll go out tomorrow, right. you'll have 18. That's right. And you go out the next day and you got 27. Right. And it's like, okay, so try and do 27. Just, can we, can we find a happy Something medium here? And you catch them on chatterbaits, you catch them on flipping, you catch them on sinkos, you catch them on the shaky head where, I mean, uh, what can, you can catch them with everything right now. It's Bobby, Bobby Barrick, are you really throwing a shaky head? I did, yeah, but I'm not going to throw. I'm not going to throw that tomorrow. Okay. But I did throw it today because bites were, you know, you're always looking for. Okay, it's 1:30. It's two o'clock. I've got four good fish. I need one more. Right. Because a pound and a quarter weighs a lot when the scales settle. That's right. You can't <laughs> add to it on the next day, right? That's right. Okay, so um, we had a nine-day off limits. I seen you went up to Clear Lake and caught a massive amount of crappie. Yes. And when you came back for two days. So weight-wise, what do you think it's going to take to make that top 10 cut? And what do you have to at least minimally get to to, um, to have a chance to win? Well, you know, we have some intangibles out here that we've never had to deal with before at this level. And it's the pellets and the pellet boats. Right. You might think that you're on a 60-pound, three-day bag. Got it. And it could go away like that. Right. Because you don't know They're that when you... right now. They're, they're dropping pellets on your stuff as we speak, and they <laughs> pop tomorrow, and vegetation starts to die. And when vegetation dies, it depletes oxygen, right. and your five, six-pounders, they get the bends. They get sick. They their, their house just had a stage five tornado go through it, <laughs> and they got to find a new place to live, a new That's place right. to eat. Okay. So it changes everything. So it's going to happen to some of these guys back here. It might happen. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't check these last two days right. that I'm going to go check tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully they're there. <laughs> and then, you know, and then you... You know, you got some other stuff that you'd like to check on Sunday, right? That's right. But <laughs> maybe they're jumping pellets on the Sunday <laughs> stuff today as we speak. Who knows? So there's lots of things. You know, you have your, your basic patterns. It should, it should definitely take, traditionally, okay. through the years, it should take 23 to 25 a day. It should take 20, 75 pounds to win this tournament. Okay. All right. I don't think it's going to. Okay. I, think that, I think that it will be that 21 a day. Okay, so 62, 60, 63 -ish? 62, 64 wins this thing. Okay, all right. And then how about the guys that want to make that top 10 cut? Guys that want to, I think there's going to be a substantial drop off. Um, I think the guys that want to make the cut, I wouldn't be surprised to see 14 a day. Wow, okay. So Delta Master, last year's champion. You've heard all the stuff he had to say. Yeah, it's actually, he says he wouldn't be surprised. And I think some of that is because of the wind, right? Some of it's because of the wind. Look, this is a bed fishing tournament. This, if the guys, if the wind lays down and the guys can bed fish, yeah. they could do 30 a day. Right. Because I don't bed fish, and I went and peaked at a couple of places. Full moon on, on, on I was Sunday. like, and I, when I peaked, I went, oh. I, I get depressed because I don't do that. Yeah, me too. But I know that there's a lot of guys back here that are very good at that. Okay. And if they see an eight pounder, oh, and there's a nine, and they can go grocery shopping out of the front of a bass boat, <laughs> we're screwed, okay? And if they can fish comfortably, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Because we have to fight for our bites. Right, me and you, exactly. <laughs> okay, so once again, last year's champion, looking to repeat. We have, Wild West has not had a repeat champion on the back-to-back uh, -back or repeat champion. Bobby Barrett's got an opportunity to do that. You've heard all, you've heard it all. Let's hopefully 
me and him, Sunday, Big Break Marina.